everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's Transform This Wall, I wanted to do a movie theater inspired room. So I have been wanting to decorate a movie theater styled room for a while now, but I wasn't 100% on any of the ideas that I had, so I never filmed it. And then one day, New Air did reach out to me and they wanted me to show their mini fridge in my video. And this brand has been around for years now. My dad has a few of their mini fridges in his home, so I have been wanting to get one of my own. I figured what perfect way then to use it in a movie theater room, because of course you need cold drinks when you go to watch a movie and who wants to get up in the middle of a movie and have to leave the room? to go get a drink, not me. As usual, to start with this wall transformation, I always like to add paint to the walls. This is just such a simple and inexpensive way to really enhance the room. So if you are trying to do a makeover to your room, adding a fresh coat of paint is really just going to liven up the space and make it look completely different. It does come across a little bit more red on camera, which I am kind of upset about because you're not getting the full experience of how it looks, but it is a super deep burgundy maroon color and it looks absolutely perfect for this theme room. So for the DIY part of this video, I will be making a candy display holder. I think it's essential to have a candy holder in a movie theater room because I want to be able to see all of my options ready to grab. First, we're going to start off with a pegboard. So this pegboard came in a two by four sheet. I ended up cutting mine down to 18 by 20 and a half. I also grabbed a one by two by eight foot board and I cut this one into four pieces. So this is what we're going to use as the border. I ended up cutting two at 20 and a half and then I cut the other two at 15 and a quarter inch you can leave it white or paint it whatever color you would like I used some black glossy spray paint as you can see the mini fridge serves a dual purpose I ended up using the box to spray paint on so I didn't make a total mess just went ahead and spray painted all of the pieces also when I spray painted the pegboard I didn't focus too much on the edges because we will be adding the frame to it so I didn't want to waste my spray paint when I'm just gonna be covering it up anyway and let them dry completely I would recommend using E6000 glue but I am too impatient for that so I will be using a hot glue gun and this is probably pretty self-explanatory but we are just going to take the borders of the frame and glue them onto the pegboard. The way I'm going to hang it up on the wall is I'm going to put some really thick screws in the holes where I know the candy will cover it so that you don't see it. You can also use hooks or bolts or whatever you would like to hang it up. You will also need some pegboard hooks and this is how we are going to hold the candy onto the board. As you can see, it comes with a little insert that is meant to be used on a pegboard. So you would just stick it right through the peg holes and you can move these all around to different size candies. You can also get different types of holders and I did get these right off of Amazon. Here is how it ended up coming out once I added the border around it. You can add whatever you would like to it, like stickers, or you can even do letters across the top that says candy or something like that. You just stick these little hooks right through the holes on the pegboard. So 
Don't try this at home, guys. I'm literally standing on the mini fridge right now to hang this. What's up, guys? Welcome to my movie theater room. Whenever I've pictured a movie theater styled room in my house, I always pictured it being a deep burgundy maroon color. When I decided to do this style room as a video, I asked Rich what he thinks I should do the color of the wall, and he also said a deep burgundy. So of course I did end up having to go with that color for the walls. Starting with this side of the room, I did get this three piece canvas set right off of Amazon, and I needed a pretty large painting to hang up on this wall. But if you try to get one large piece, it tends to be pretty expensive. So I went this route and not only was it a lot more inexpensive to buy the set of three. It also fills up the space perfectly and the colors really tie in all of the colors of this room. Next up, I have this bookcase, which I believe I got from Walmart. Everything will be listed down in the description with links. So if you are interested in any of these products, they all will be listed down there. I definitely needed a shelving system in here to hold the key essentials. So of course we have our popcorn maker here, which I have not tried to use yet. So I'm about to try to use it with you guys and see how this ends up working. Next to the popcorn maker, I just have a few little decor pieces. We have our popcorn kernels right next to the popcorn maker. This is just a pretty way to display it as well as keep it nice and fresh. I had to add a little director's cut. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I had to add one of these in here, of course. So on the actual shelves, you can add all of your DVDs, and this is just an easier way to showcase them all and really see everything that you have. I just put the DVDs that we actually watch on the top shelf, and then on the second shelf, I have a few more decor pieces. I have two popcorn holders which I got from the Dollar Tree and then a little film reel I believe it's called right in the center to again tie in the theme of the room. I felt like it was perfect to add some cameras on the bottom shelf because of course it goes with the theme but then also if you have friends over and you're all watching movies and having fun in your movie theater room you can grab your Polaroid camera and take some pictures and maybe hang them up on a string as a little decoration in the room as well. Lastly on this side of the wall just to kind of close it in and complete the side I did get this vase a few years ago from Pier 1, so I'm sure they don't carry it anymore. So I will leave down in the description some links to some similar vases. So now moving on to the other side. So this was the DIY of today's video, and I am obsessed with how it ended up coming out. I also added these lights on either side. I just feel like it really gave the vibe of a movie theater because these lights are the ones that are usually in theaters on the walls. They are from Amazon, they're battery operated, and they stick right onto the wall, so super easy to install. I apologize in advance that this is a horrible angle of me, but I wanted to show you guys the cute sign that I have right on top. I also got this right off of Amazon as well. And underneath the candy, we do have our mini fridge. So you can grab a drink while you grab your snack. There's a light inside so you can see exactly what you're grabbing if it is dark. It's super compact, but it does fit 90 cans and it just looks super satisfying to me. So if you haven't seen one of these videos on my channel before, basically all I do is transform this corner of my room. As you can see, this side of a movie theater room is perfect for your concessions, snacks, and candy. As for the other side of a movie theater room, I would just recommend having your seating, your TV, projector, whatever it is you're going to watch your movies on. That way when people get up during a movie, they won't interrupt everyone else because they will be behind the seating area. And I just have one more tip and that is to add an LED strip around the back of your TV. This is just going to further enhance the room. You can change the color, speed, and brightness all on a remote. So it's super easy to install as well as use. And I got it right off of Amazon. Super inexpensive and we get tons of compliments on it so I had to include it in this video. So that is all for this movie theater room and I just wanted to say a quick thank you for supporting my channel and getting me to 15,000 subscribers. I cannot believe over 15,000 people have watched my videos and then went and subscribed afterwards. That is just mind-blowing to me every single day so thank you guys so much and since there are 15,000 of you I did want to interact with you guys more so at the end of every video I'm gonna start doing a subscriber shout out and I'm gonna ask a question for you guys to answer in the comments. And if you are subscribed to my channel, I will shout out a few people at the end of every video. So today's question I figured should go with the theme of the room. I would like to know what is y'all's top favorite movie? This is super hard for me personally because I love all different genres of movies. But if I had to choose one that I could watch a million times and never get sick of it, it would probably be Wedding Singer with Adam Sandler. I like all of his movies from the 90s. I think they are all so funny. Like Billy Madison, Happy 
Happy Gilmore, Big Daddy. All of those are so funny to me still to this day. What is your guys' favorite movies? I will shout out a couple of you in the next video. So again, thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. So I don't like to personally read directions, so I'm just going to wing it. I'm pretty sure you just put the kernels inside of this, close it, and then it starts popping. That is my guess. All right, now let's turn it on. Fun fact, we love to make homemade popcorn. We just do it in a pan on the stove. It tastes amazing. y'all it's working <laughs> i mean obviously it's a popcorn maker it's gonna work definitely giving me movie theater vibes all we need is an icy maker next to it and then i'll be set <gasps> what was that y'all is it almost done come on it's just taking forever i'm the most impatient person on this planet <gasps> ah, it's working! shocker i'm sick of waiting oh oh damn Oh, oh, okay, popcorn. Well, definitely need some butter, it feels like. <laughs> I can't even fake that. It is hard and burnt. Yeah, not good. I did something wrong. Who pops <laughs> popcorn without oil? Apparently, I Where forgot to put the It tastes burnt. I wonder why. The seeds had no other choice but to <laughs> eventually pop. So, that's exactly why it took three hours and then oh. never even ended up popping. Three hours? No.